I'm taking the shortcut. The shortcut executed. No! Come on! Ah! What? Come on, man! I single framed through there. What are the odds? Ah! Uh, I pressed too lightly. Yo, Brentwood84 with the five gift subs. Happy holidays and congratulations on the sub gifties for your luxurious gift. Thank you, man. I really appreciate that. Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. Well, I hope all of you guys had an okay Christmas slash holidays, and if it didn't go the way you wanted, it's okay. It's a forced holiday anyways, right? Nobody can force you to be like super jolly and happy, right? And you know, if things don't go your way during the holidays, don't use the holidays as an excuse to be upset about it. Just know that it's just a holiday. Backward strats forces everything you need. Yo, Dirt Frigs, what's up, man? A dumb Flash Mario game from 2003? You have to. No, I don't remember that game at all. Was it on, like, Newgrounds or something? Yo, Tang, what's up, man? Did you have a good holidays? Or Christmas? I don't know what you believe in. I just want to make sure. Did you have the three days where I didn't get to talk to you? Were they good? That's what I'm wondering. I don't know what just happened. All I know is the level's moving on its own and it's tripping me out. All these subs? Oh, somebody did a gift sub. Five gift sub. Somebody did a fiver. You had a nice Christmas? Good. You think it was actually a ROM, huh? I don't know what it was. I've never heard of it. All I know is that slime volleyball was the best thing ever. And helicopter. Yay! Mitch, you're back! Mitch, tell us a story! Finally, we did it! Uh, I save a little bit of time if I fight the Hammer Brother early, but in this case, he had already done, you know, quite a bit too many movements of twos, so... Um, it should, like, even out time loss versus time save for this one. I'm pretty sure. Yo, we got the tunnel boys. Yo, Ken Apparently Bob is our Sherwood. We or you or you. It is our sub anniversary. That's right. Where are you taking me? Where are you taking me? Yeah, when you kill the Hammer Brother after the Fortress in World One, you do two levels with a movement of zero, which each time will save you 0.5. It'll save you a full second if the Hammer Brother does movements of two, though. Fullest potential time save, one minute. Smallest potential time save, 
The time save is only relative to where the Hammer Brother would have been had I not fight at bottom. It's confusing. Where do I want to go? That's a good question. That's a good question. I like that one. It gives me a different boss pattern, so hopefully I don't botch it. Nope. So many guesses. And there was no winners! So many guesses. No come on, guys. I don't know how more Hashtag free charity. things I can give you. 50445, you guessed that last time? Damn. Damn. Got him. Ah, uh, the Koopaling bot is working w pretty well now, yep. No. Man, that sucks. Yeah, he worked on a little bit over the holidays on it. Yeah, I love the new bot. Did you guys hear the tri-wave? Baby's coming. The tri-baby. I don't know if he if she's already given birth. I haven't seen her in a long time, but I know they're having a uh, Triwave's just a um, a stream friend. Excuse me, sorry guys. He has not been around at all lately though, so I don't know. Um, baby on the way though. And isn't, uh, isn't Gina due any time now? Any day now. Right? Yeah, congrats on him, man. There's one thing that people have always told me when you have a baby, is it changes your life. And that's why I don't want to have a baby right now. I don't know anyone who has never said that. Everyone I've ever talked to have always said, having a baby will change your life forever. And that's a pretty big deciding factor of whether I want to have a kid right now or not. Triple kill. It really does for the good. I think most people want to have a child when their life changes for the good. But it could be a big surprise, right? What about Kaylee? She wants she wants to have a kid just like I do, but just not yet. It's not ready. I still want to have a kid. I got to have it keeps the family going. If you have no kill, if you have no uh, kids, you're slowly killing your your family tree, right? You always gotta have a kid.
you're never ready. Well, sometimes, for the most part. But I think a lot of people are ready when they're trying. Why did I do that? <laughs> Go menu. I don't want a child right now. Nope. You think that's selfish of me, guys? That I'm only- th I'm 30 years old and I still don't want to have a kid yet. Yo, yes, we got a sub here. Hold on. Um, he fixed the cable. Has gifted a sub to Ray Rayolis for for an extra month there. Well, welcome back, man. Sorry, I missed that. He fixed the cable. I'm glad. I'm glad. Meh, world's got enough people. Love kids, don't get me wrong, but I'm not parent material. I, I don't know, I think one of the biggest problems I have is that I'm gonna instill the way I was raised upon my child, and you're like not allowed to do that. Fuck yeah, I'll spank my kid if they're acting out of line, right? You know, if they're out in public and they're acting like little shits, grab them by the arm, pull them towards you, fucking leave. We're out. Day's over. But I hear nowadays that you're not allowed to do that. You're not allowed to, like, be a little... You're not allowed to take slight force with your children or something, right? No, if I have a kid, if I have a kid, he'll have lots of chances with me. Minimum necessary force is... Exactly. You can't let the kids scream in your face and demand everything they want and you just sit there and take it. That's... To me, that's so weird. Right? I didn't make it to level 30. Right? If I had a kid right now, and I... I yes, I'm saying that my age is my level, like I live in an RPG. I got all the way to level 30 to take shit from a two-year-old. Not happening. Not happening. Yeah, you can give subs to other viewers. There's no way I made it this far to just get wrecked by a toddler. Picking battles, I heard, is a very, very good thing when you're having children. Battle picking is good. You can't always convince your child that they're wrong. But I feel like they won't develop much confidence, right? They're always going to be questioning and second-guessing things, right? If you're constantly punishing your children for things they're doing bad, which they probably are doing bad, you know, 
then you're still somehow being part of the problem, man. See, it's so fucked up, man. You never know what the hell you're... It's right or wrong, you just hope for the best, right? You just try and be the best parent. As a teacher, you pick your battles. Okay. I should get paid to play for this button. Twitch wears my five months worth of work. Yo, five months. Welcome back, dude. What's wrong with talking about kids? It's the one thing we all have in common, undoubtedly. It's that we've all been children. We were all born once, believe it or not. I can't believe we all have that in common. We were all born. Yep. Quick. Share your experience with another experience. If you ever get in a heated argument with someone, you just pull, pull that out. Hey, man, I was born just like you, all right? Take it easy. That'll get, you, that'll get you out of any argument. I was 3D printed. Damn. Yo, what is this? What's wrong with my donuts and my, my boxes? The box is blue that came in the donut, that the donuts came in. Mitch, how to solve an argument 101. Hey, I was born just like you, man. Take it easy, okay? Put the gun down. Hey, man, I was once a child too, but I grew up. Unlike someone bad on Tishburn. Unlike someone. Who's that someone? Oh, me. I get it, okay? Perhaps that explains why I don't want to have a kid. Maybe I'm not fully grown up to the expectation. Do you know how many people have kids when they're like 19? I, I'm pretty sure there's parts of me about the way I think are still, you know, young, young at mind. I mean, I'm not like a wise old 60, you know, 60 year old or something, right? Um... But I think that applies to all of us. I think all of us always keep portions of our youth inside of us. We all keep portions of selfishness, youth, you know, the, the whole thing that makes us a shitty kid. We always keep that stuff, right? No matter, I don't care how old you are, you can't resist Legos, okay? My 50-year-old father says he still feels like an 18-year-old and has no clue what he's doing. It's all <laughs> fake it till you make it. Fake it till you make it, right? Hit it and quit it, fake it till you make it. A Merle raid? What's a Merle raid? What up, Merle? Or is it not happening yet and you just ruined it? Uh, I don't see a raid. But, anyways, fake it till you make it. I think you can still be extremely childish and all that stuff and have a kid. I think um, what a lot of you, what a lot of you guys are saying with the whole pick your battle, like, you'd be surprised how much parents hide from their kids. You just pretend to be. A full-grown adult wise and stuff most of the time kids see you that way anyways kids are frigs man they don't know what the hell's going on fucking kids man when i was a kid i was dumb as shit man i don't know what the hell was going on man nice Just better at hiding it now. Yeah, see? You know whenever you're with a crowd of people or when everyone's talking and that one person isn't joining in on the conversation? That's the person you look over and be like, so what's your thoughts? 
No, don't do that. Don't call someone out. It causes... The more and more I get called out in crowds of people, the less and less you'll see me hanging out with those people. Because, like, if a hangout occurs, I'll think to myself, eh, I could stay home and just be happy and have fun, or I could go out and get ragged on by my friends, right? Uh, fuck that, I turn on, like, Mario. But sometimes it's- it's- sometimes it's healthy to have friend- friendly bullying. I think friendly bullying is very healthy. It's like a, a tribal kind of thing, right? Where like a tribe singles out one or two people in it. It's like, cause you can, you can smell the weakness on them. So you try and toughen them up. I don't know if any of that's true, but I do believe in that healthy friendship bullying is an actual thing, right? Yeah, ragging on friends is fun, yeah. To a certain extent, sometimes friends are like, uh, it's not funny anymore. I've had that before, I'm just like, I don't, like, I don't even like that joke anymore. Oh, look at that. Uh, I don't know, hazing's different, I mean, I got... Hazing was what happened when you first entered grade nine, right? That's what that's what happened when I started grade nine for the first time. Paddles and stuff like that. Hazing. Get the new get the newbies. That shit's not fun, man. I don't like that. I liked making fun of my best friend because he was you know like if my best friend was too nervous to like talk to a girl or call a girl or something, you know, I'd make fun of him, right? And when when your best friend makes fun of you Everyone hates if their best friend's better than them. That's why they're our best friends. Best friends are also perfect for competition, no matter how much they say they're not in competition. Right? If you get made fun of by your best friend, then you know it's honest, right? Then you know, you know what? Fuck him, I am, I am gonna phone her. And then you become better of, of a person. If you just making fun of some kid on the playground at school, I, I don't know. I used to do that. I regret doing that. Being a bully sometimes. I remember what I used to do to this one kid, which was like, just so, like, I don't even know why I did it. It's so dumb, but... I was that guy who always pulled his game cartridge out of his Game Boy at recess. I'd always go up and up. Oh, and, like, now that I think about it, it's like the word, like, why would I... You know, that kid probably would have taken punches to the stomach rather than losing his save file, okay? Do you know how important save files are? Okay? Save files are important. You know, I've been bullied and I've bullied before. It's an interesting ecosystem, that playground. I have to stop playground. my best friend from giving this girl jewelry he bought at the dollar store before ever having spoken to her. He still owes me for that. Nice. He still owes you. And man, remember that time I saved you four bucks from the convenience store? I broke her little switch that held the game in. What? No, it's just a Game Boy like color or whatever. I just pulled the game. Oh. And a huge embarrassment, that's right. Have I ever stolen anything? Yes. Yes. I grew up in a very uh, poor background. Well, not at first. When my parents were together. Right? You'd be surprised how much of a difference two small incomes can make compared to, you know, obviously one small income. But yeah, when my parents split up, that's when things started to get, like, really tough. Um, so anytime I ever wanted anything, I just stole it. And my brother was already acting out too, so I thought it was cool. But... The type of person... I, I've always been willing to compromise, it's just the kind of person I am. So I've al I always saw the bad in things that I did, right? I was one of those kids where when I got punished for one thing, I didn't really do it again because I had already got caught, right? It's like over. Like, so when I got caught for stealing, like, my biggest thing, like, I didn't really steal much after that. Once you get caught, the thrill's over, I guess, but 
Then you realize people treat you like an asshole when you when you like lie and steal when you're a kid, right? Like I was young. I was really young when I did that bad stuff. But people treat you like a piece of garbage and it sucks. So I got out of the habit of doing that stuff real fast. Way before I ever hit high school or anything. You saw a Mars bar once? Yeah, by the time I hit high school, I was already way out of all that stupid adolescent, you know. I, I liked to be liked when I was a kid, right? Because I liked having friends. And when you get caught for doing stuff, especially like at school, the kids start talking about you differently and looking at you differently and, you know, nobody likes you anymore. And then you're known as that, like, you create a name for yourself. It's just awful, man. It's awful. It's not worth it, man. Now you just don't drink anymore. Yeah, right? Common denominator. What was the original problem? I stole a pack of batteries once and I cried so hard when I was caught, <laughs> right? When I used to get in trouble, there, there's that quiet time of getting in trouble. So like, say, say I got caught doing something bad at school. There's always that time between sitting in the principal's office when no one's in the office until the point of whenever they enter the office and that's when you know you're gonna get in big trouble, right? So there's always that wondering period. It's like it's like if you ever taken if you ever arrested on the street, right? They take you to the station, they put you in a holding cell for like two hours. That time lets you sit and think and reflect on yourself before you even get to the punishment, right? And within that time, you always think about all the stuff that like you you're gonna like miss or that you enjoyed and you're like, I fucked up, you know. At least yeah, you stew on your actions, exactly. There's always that. It's the same with parents, right? If you get in trouble with your parents, they'll send you to the corner or to your room until they come up and talk to you, right? And that whole time, you're just left. I've never been arrested before. I don't have a... I don't have any criminal record. If no one was in the office, they had to be there in 15 minutes. Otherwise, you were legally allowed to leave. Legally, huh? Screw you, principal. Screw. I don't. I didn't know what to give the principal a name. <laughs> I've never been arrested. Arrested just means you got caught. I've never really done. The most consistent thing that I've ever done to break the law, I guess, is like. Ex excessive jaywalking, I guess, but is that like... Is that even a thing? I'm a criminal, man. I jaywalk. That's what you're- you're supposed to jaywalk like in populated cities anyways. You'll never get anywhere. Nice. You don't speed in your car? I don't have a car. I don't want a car. I don't need a car. I don't have a car. Nope. Fuck driving. I've gotten everywhere in my life without a car. No car for me. Don't want a car. Don't need a car. Fucking hate cars. There's so f much money and insurance companies are just- I give thousands and thousands of dollars a year to a company to insure me for something that I'm not even allowed to do anyways. That's just gonna create an investigation and I'm- you know? Uh, jaywalking is when you cross the street, not at a crosswalk. When you run- when you run across the road, not at a crosswalk. Not in a car, though. Like, 
in person, like walking, like when you walk across the road. If you're driving across the road at not a crosswalk, I don't think you're gonna be driving for much longer after that. It, yeah, it's not even a crime, <laughs> jaywalking. I've jaywalked in front of police officers. Nobody does anything. Um, yeah, I understand the importance of cars, obviously. Don't get me wrong. I understand the importance of them. I know why people need them, and I don't question why people have them. It's just me. I don't, I don't like driving. Uh, I don't like driving on the road with crazy people all the time. I don't like insurance companies. I don't like how much cars cost and how I constantly have to keep paying for them. What? Dude! Man! I wasn't even close to him! That's such a lame fucking time save. Bullshit. Alright, that's what I have to say. Bullshit. How do I even run into that guy, man? That's such a stupid loss, man. That's so fucking lame. Do -do 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 -do. So I lose time right here, right? I don't get the fire kill him. So the animation of losing my fire flower is a loss of time. I don't get the fire kill this boss anymore. Then I have to go out of my way to get a fire flower back in a different level. How do I get around? Um, where I grew up, uh, buses, go trains, Ubers, taxis, public transportation all over the place. And the amount of money I save. Ooh. Stop salt. What, what do you mean salting? I'm just reacting to what happened. It's not really controlling my ability to continue playing. I'm still playing just fine. Yeah, there was a point in my life where everything revolved around me taking the buses and strategically planning out my routes and stuff like that. It's a good time, man. So I had to leave for work an extra hour earlier. So what, you know? I don't care. Do they have taxis where I'm at now? Uh... Most likely, but nobody does taxis anymore, right? Everyone wants to Uber. Uh, the next fire flower is in 5-7. And in 5-7, you have to have fire flower at the beginning to shoot the turtle to do the level the fastest possible. So I gotta grab this first. Damage boost. Losing fire flower is the worst thing to do possible. World 5, they are so... They're so stingy on the fire flower power-up, man. It's garbage. So unfair. Lyft is better than Uber. I mean, I don't... I've had the same experience with, like, both companies, really, I guess. All... I think it's all on the driver. Oh, that fucking sucks, man. I went right through there. Ah, that's garbage. Alright, Jesus Clip. Jesus Clip for sure. Jesus clip, Jesus, mm -hmm. for sure, for sure, we have to now, we got to. 
Oh my god, dude. It just falls apart, man. If I just had my fire flower, we wouldn't have this problem. Look at all the problems it creates. Only Jesus Clip can save us now. Oh look, coin ship. Oh no. Alright, let's do it. What? You gotta do it on the very edge of the platform. 